Mr. Johnson, what do you consider the biggest job facing the next elected mayor of Dallas? I think the biggest job is to get people involved and, and, and interested in civic affairs again. They, they simply uh, are apathetic in a way that I've never seen before. A very small percentage of them get out to vote, which means that the democratic system is no longer functioning when that is true. And I, I think that uh, City Hall needs more citizens behind the folks who actually execute their will. And uh, certainly it would be a mistake on their part not to be involved in what City Hall does and uh, trying to do all they can to move things along in the direction of our, our mutual aims. What do you consider the biggest change in the political climate now and in your opinion? I think it's a fairly universal thing, uh, perhaps you could say an international and a national thing, that uh, people are asking questions about uh, their government form, uh, its uh, integrity, and uh, its strength. Uh, this filters down to the local level because uh, scandals at all levels uh, across the country have have received a great amount of publicity, beginning with Watergate and working down to county and local levels, state levels. I think uh, we have to hope that our citizens will remember that uh, one of the reasons that they can't become and remain apathetic about voting and taking an active interest in government and participating in it is just this, that they can lose their liberties and their, uh, I sense in people, uh, quick opposition to anything that represents change under these conditions. And changes are needed, and some of them drastic, and we, we must adapt to what we have to do. Otherwise, the easy path is, is to let things go, and uh, in just a little bit we get more and, and uh, harsher regulations from the federal level and the state level, government much further removed from the people and the local, and then dictatorship. Right to vote very easily by neglecting the ballot.